Yo, what's up guys, Diso here, back with some final gear. And today, I wanna talk about UR Morgan and all of the things that the newest patch has brought to us. So we're gonna go over the battle pass, we're gonna go over the skins, and the new event, Bride's Curse. But, before we do that, I do wanna say, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy this content. Also, do be sure to follow me over at twitch.tv slash dcellgaming if you're interested in having fun and following along with our streaming, our live streaming adventures. Alrighty, let's go ahead and dive in game and talk about what the new patch has brought to us so i can give you my full thoughts on it so bride's curse is the event that we've got with the uh you know the new maintenance and the new ur uh release and all that so this event it really is works just like the pathogen event if you played during that time basically you go in you do your bounties you do your daily stuff you get currency and then you just claim your stuff and go in and redeem it from the shop now it does look uh like they they had a bug with redeeming the crystals but it has been fixed i i, I do believe do let me know in the comments down below if they haven't fixed that yet but it does look like all uh, everything that was buggy with the shop is now fixed so you can go ahead and purchase everything i'm not going to go over this event too much because it's it's a very straightforward event and there's not really much to go over now the new battle pass is imperia so uh, i know a lot of people will be happy about that every uh there's a, she's definitely waifu for a lot of people so you know you might want to pick her up also the bug that was um happening with the uh, battle pass where her equipment wasn't dropping has been fixed as well so you can now safely get her equipment if you purchase the gold battle pass so with that we're gonna go ahead and skip over to the skins and honestly i think all of the skins that they released are pretty good i really really like this favia skin it is 810 paid crystals however you do get the bridge artwork with it as well uh and overall i really really like the design and i like the in character model as well then we have jasmine this is another good skin i think i think uh overall it's really well done and uh nothing really much to say about it if you like jasmine if you like the skin i mean it is what it is so then we have morgan this one is honestly i have to admit i don't think morgan has the best uh skins out of all of the urs however she's uh you know cooking your food she got uh it's, it's overall it's a pretty decent you do get the bridge artwork along with it and i, I do believe this is the only skin that uh they have yet to you know release for morgan so if you're wanting a skin for morgan this is the one to pick up because as far as i know it's the only one available and then of course we have coco the other new character they released on the banner if you like coco i think you'll like this artwork overall i think this is a really good artwork i think the the skin is good and i think the character model is good as well Alrighty, so let's go ahead and talk about the newest unit so we do have coco here this banner works just like all of the other special banners uh coco is a very strong striker dps she's a she's like a t0 unit you could say her dps output is very very high she she will work wonders for your team if you don't have a t0 you know an s tier damage dealer uh striker whatever she is actually very very good and worth summoning for if morgan wasn't on the table or if you just don't have you know the crystals for morgan but you do have like 18,000 crystals you could definitely get coco and not not like it would be a really good pickup is what i'm trying to say she's a very good striker unit but if you already have you know calamus or blade or anybody like that she's really not worth picking up because she's not going to add anything to your account she's not going to do anything special for your account if you already have a t0 damage dealer and that is going to bring us to ur morgan so the ur banners work uh, quite a bit different so let's go ahead and talk about all of the difference and then i'll give you my full thoughts on whether i think you should summon for her or uh, or not <clears throat> so every 10 pull does cost 1500 just like a normal banner however you need 30 10 pulls to hit the pity okay so you need uh 45 000 crystals to guarantee a copy of morgan and to get her full custom mech so right off the bat it needs a lot more crystals uh, a lot more crystal investment okay so do be aware of that now to modify your morgan you are going to need actual dupes okay this works different than normal ssrs so you don't just use sequences you have to have an actual dupe for her but on the skills for the talents up yes you can use sequences on those looking at the chances you can see it is a one percent chance to get a ur okay so you have 
30 pulls at a 1% chance to get a dupe of Morgan so you can get that five star and unlock that ability, okay? So honestly, this is going to be up to everybody's chance, okay? Just because it's a 1% chance and the average is to at least get like one copy within about, I would say 200 pulls. That's, I mean, generally speaking, uh, you should have a copy by then. That doesn't mean you're going to get one. You could end up like me and having a four star copy. I have pulled 32 10 pulls and I still have not received an extra dupe of Morgan. It is what it is. Now, that being said, Morgan being one of the URs that the fourth skill doesn't really matter, okay? Really what matters is her third skill because that's where she's gonna get that team buff from everybody. And she only gets like a, a minor buff when somebody dies on her team that's an Arita unit. So really you don't need that skill four. You're just gonna be missing out on some extra stats if you do not get a five star unit, okay? So out of all of the URs, this would be the unit not to care too much about bringing her to five star and that is because she will work just fine at four star and not only that she will be so much overpowered she will just fly away in the damage even at four star she's gonna she's gonna do so much damage it's gonna it, it's it's absolutely ridiculous okay it's just absolutely absurd how much power creep is involved with morgan so going along once you've gotten the 300 points you've got your pity then you can buy it's gonna take 300 points to get you know all of the custom mech pieces because they are now 75 as opposed to the 50 but it is a two to one sequence exchange so when if you have extra sequences or extra points left over you can get quite a bit more talents out of it and that's pretty much all you guys need to know about summoning for morgan or any other natural you are in global as it stands so you need a minimum of forty-five thousand to get the unit okay it's even if you pull them early you still have to pull that forty-five thousand crystals worth just to get their custom mech it's very very important that you understand that all right so what are like my overall thoughts on morgan on whether you should pull for her or not and honestly uh, I'm a little split on this because Morgan's power is absolutely ridiculous. She, the power creep that she introduces into this game is astronomical. It, I mean, it, it really is a, a, absurd. Like you, you're gonna put her surrounded by a few Arita units. It doesn't even matter what the Arita units are. And she's gonna just be doing like a million damage per regular hit, okay? I think like my my subpar bill, I have her at like talent three. She's already doing like up to 700,000 damage per hit. Yes, I do have her built out up to about 150,000 battle power with you know SSR equipment and all that but you know she's only talent level three so she's not getting her talent buff and she's already cranking out absurd amounts of damage however one thing that is deeply concerning me is that her sequences aren't in the shop yes we've still yet to get afra sequences or some of the other ones but it's really becoming a thing with Flashwing or Kamoe, whoever's doing it, used to, they would release the sequ sequences right along with the characters, and now they're no longer doing that. And and, it, and it's becoming um, a really big uh, red flag to me, right? Because it means they're trying to get people to use more crystals to get the sequences, and then they add the sequences in the shop later. So they added these coins, you know, as a way for us to have the plate system, like the other regions have like a plate system which they can farm. However, we can't use the sequences for collabs and even though other regions can use their plates for collabs and now with not having a ur sequence in the shop is very concerning to me and the reason why this is concerning to me is because there has no as far as i know there hasn't been any communication of their intention to release the UR sequences in the shop. I'm not saying that they're not going to release it. It is just concerning to me because without re without releasing an intention to do so, this is either like something nefarious, meaning they are purposely withhe withholding the sequences to get people to purchase more crystals, you know, to get those units. So, you know, this would be a really, really nasty thing to do to purposely withhold the sequences, let people spin crystals to get the sequences and then go, oh yeah, here's the sequence shop. Okay, that's scenario one and that's not a good scenario at all. Scenario two is that they don't release them at all in the sequence shop and that is going to mean that now instead of having to need 45,000 crystals, you need 55. 
thousand crystals to summon and get your talent levels up right because you can't use coins that's scenario too none of these scenarios are good and i i honestly um i'm very very disappointed if i'm just being completely honest i am very disappointed in how this is being handled now i will say the two to one sequences here it, it's not a bad deal however being led to believe that we're going to be able to get the ur sequences in the shop like i said both scenarios are are not good they're either purposely withheld withholding the the sequences to get people to spend more money which is not not good at all or they're just going to force you to spend more crystals regardless okay so i i just you know i, I that's all i know what to say about this i just i don't know i don't know guys but hey I would love to know your thoughts on the matter. What are your thoughts on UR Morgan, on how they're handling the sequences? Do you think they're gonna add them to the shop? Do you think we're gonna need to, you know, use the 10,000 crystals? I mean, to be fair, the 10,000 crystals isn't that bad of a deal, you know, since it's a two to one. But that being said, it would be so much better for free to play players if the sequence coins at least worked as intended. Cause right now they are not working as intended. We can't use them for collabs. They have such a low spawn rate, if you want to say. Like we our our currency gain for them is so low, it's really hard to talent characters as it is. So like overall, um, yeah disappointed would be the word to use but hey guys that's just my thoughts on things definitely definitely let me know in the comments down below what do you think about the new event what do you think about morgan what what do you think about the way you know final gear is being handled and the direction of the game with that being said guys i'm gonna get out of here so have a great day be safe out there and i'll see you in the next one. Oh, the chad goats we got the chad goats in the house Yo, let's go, man. They look so awesome. Let me summon Chad Goat, damn it. <laughs>